Speaking of which, uh, Brewer called me the last couple of days. He's like, I got to come on the show to talk about uh, a certain person in his neighborhood that's driving you nuts to the point I think police are involved, lawyers police. are involved. I've never seen Jim like this. this never is, seen him aggressive no. and fucking chomping at the bit. This never. Is stuff you Dude, see I'm going to churches asking fucking pastors to pray for me and shit. <laughs> is that fucking bad? I, I'm, I'm going, will you please pray for me that I don't do something stupid? <laughs> that to Just yeah. because I want to do something stupid. Yeah. I would never do, I would never sacrifice right. my wife or kids or family, but this guy is such... What could he possibly be doing? All right, for, all right. Yeah, start from the beginning. Yeah, all right. yeah. First of all, first of all, from the minute he moved in my neighborhood, shady. Now, Shady. Now, you had lived there already. Lived there already. Having a great time loving your neighborhood. Riding bicycles <laughs> up and down. And bling, bling. Fucking enjoying life. Right. right. Avoiding the Go deer. Go-karts. Little deer action. A little. You got like a, a herd. That's all right. I, I accepted that part of my life. Wait, I just figured something out. Trampolines in the yard. Hold Having on. fun. Having fun. Hold and, on, Jim. Yes. Eating pies. Brewer. What? Uh... Yes. All right. But I don't want to. S All yes. Right. All yeah. right. All right. I know what's going You've on. You've been to the house? <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Now, this guy, mo first of all, he moves in. I'm just going to call him the pizza guy. Okay. And anyone in, in New Jersey, in the chest area, knows exactly what I'm talking about immediately. All right. Now, pizza guy, first of all, he moves in. When he moves in, he moves in at between midnight, two in the morning for like four straight days. Immediate. Immediately, I'm like, what? Red flag. Red, big yes. red flag. Vampire. I lived... <laughs> <laughs> Not Sparatu on the mailbox. <laughs> the way... This is the way he introduced himself to me. I'm in, I'm in my yard and with my, with my family, kids, uh, niece. He comes strolling in my yard. He looks like... Uh, he looks like Al Pacino in Godfather. He's got this dead eye, creepy, <laughs> death look, and he's always got a Marlboro Red hanging. And he talks like this. He go, he go. Uh, Listen, I live cross street. I was in your yard five in the morning, and uh, and I want to, I want to spear a buck. Can I spear? No. Hey, how are you? Are these the kids? Because of my fucking yard, I, I, I want to spear a buck. I said, What are you talking about? I, what's a buck? He goes, uh, dear, Buck, I want to spear him I, in your yard. I want your permission. you the boss, right? I said, hold on a second. <laughs> what? Wow. Hold on a second. This, is, this is my mom. <laughs> this is my dad. This is my nieces, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Brewer has a big backyard, just so people know. And there are Apparently. there are herds of deer that just go flying by at, yeah. at uh, different yeah. times of the day. It's three acres. We're not talking Pennsylvania wow. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cow farm. <laughs> yeah. So with that... I said, no, nah, man, you know what? My wife is so freaky into animals. If, if she even heard this conversation, she'd slice your throat, watch the blood gurgle out, and, <laughs> and dance in it and laugh at you while you're taking less breath. He's like, well, that's why I ask. That's why I ask. So two weeks later, I'm going to have breakfast, and my five-year-old goes, Daddy, there's a man with a rifle in the yard. <laughs> what the Holy shit. I said, what? I look in the back. There's some guy in camouflage. <laughs> Way out in the woods going tree to tree. And I'm like, holy shit, my heart's going 40 <laughs> billion invasion. miles an hour. <laughs> now, at the time I had my nephew who lived with me, who's straight out of the Who's Gal. All right, so he's, oh, shit. he's like a human pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, down, down, down. He, I said, stay in the house. We're going to call the police. Well, him like a dope goes outside. Now, I know it's from my, I know it's from the pizza man. Because only the pizza man could have saw where he was standing. And the minute he went outside, the, pe the, the, the rifle guy instantly picked up a phone. He took off. So he's in. He's constantly talking about his guys. His guys. So anyway, this is a couple of years ago, whatever. This cut to this summer. Wait, did the cops come or no? Wait, oh, did, yeah. No, they came. Wait, but this the guy was gone. And this isn't even the incident yet? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we didn't get there. All Doesn't right. this guy First know of all, this about, guy's asking um, what? Doesn't this guy know about, like, you can't just hunt in, in neighborhoods? No, because apparently he's a bag of rocks. <laughs> okay. He, f he fell off the boat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, go find some land and uh, go open up a pizza place. Eh? Uh, tell me, you're gonna matter. 
He thinks he's 1930s, this jackass. Yeah, he could just hunt, it. <laughs> yeah. just hunt in the neighborhood. Yeah, he has no. funniest, <laughs> funniest sound ever. There it is, Jimmy. Jesus. The Statue, the Statue of Liberty is going by a black and white. Beat the man and make sure you write to us. We're going to piss you. It's a man. So now, <clears throat> cut to... He opens up a pizza joint very close to the neighborhood. I, every other, Jimmy, uh, big favor. First he goes, can you come do show outside pizza place? I said, <laughs> what am I, Rich Voss? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Voss had to send a tape. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try a Starbucks first. <laughs> uh, take that, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's fucking, fucking hilarious. Yeah. So uh, it gives you the mentality of the rock of the pizza man. I said, I can't. No, I get it. So I go out and I hang out. It constantly calls me. You know, my kids, they, my delivery. They they love to. Uh, you come here, mean a lot to them. I go there. I say hello. He's Jeez. got me doing charity. He scares the daylights out of the neighborhood. He bullies and barters everybody, everyone. Jim. Uh, can I use your fax machine? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got these faxes from Italy. They can't understand any of it. Holy shit. He stops me last summer. He's like, where, where are you office at? In the middle of the street, flags me down. I said, what, what are you talking about? He goes, I need your address. For what? I open up business. I need your address. I said, oh, what my a God. Fucking, what, I said, a what a set of balls. A set of balls. I'm not even exaggerating. You know, anyone in my town will tell you. I'm fucking nuts, this guy. So I go, I'm not, I don't know my, I don't know my address. And he goes, you know, know where you work? I said, my sister knows him. Give me your sister number. I swear to God. I went, yeah, here's a number. Four, one, <laughs> two, <laughs> six, two, one, eight. <laughs> Get out of here, jackass. <laughs> so, oh my God. Cut to, holy shit. Cut to everyone hates this guy. Everyone's having problems with this guy in town. That's all I hear. It's all over the place. Oh, this guy did this to me, did that to me. And that's another thing. He's shoving all the other pizza. He's starting a battle with other towns. He's like, I'm going to run that guy out. I, I, I go there and I threaten him. And I told that guy in Mendham, he, he, he piece of shit. And his car's come my way and I'm going to show him. I, you're going you're gonna to get whacked. You're going to get whacked. Well, cut to this summer. We go on a big RV trip. Yeah, I totally... Totally sold out to the family world. Love it. Get my RV. I'm doing gigs and fucking halftime gigs. I'm on the road. I come home. I hear all this crazy shit. He's going through this sick divorce to the point where he's turning off the heat. He's not paying the bills. Oh, shit. He pulls up as I'm unloading. So here's where it begins. He goes, he gets out of, I, I stupid me, because I, I like the guy, although he's crazy. I've never had a problem. You figured he was just a nut. He's just a nut, but he's never bothered me. Right. I never had a problem. Yes. Except for guns in the backyard. Yeah. Guns in the yard. He tells me, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, my guys are gonna take care of this guy in Italy because uh, he take my grandfather's gun. And so my, he, he see what happened. My guys show up. He, <laughs> but I tell you this because I love you like a brother. This is oh, he God. loves everyone like a brother. You don't want to hear those stories. No. Though. No. You don't want to be involved. But now I'm exploiting them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he pulls up and he goes, Jimmy, um, I said, I put my hand on his heart. Like, you know, man, you need to talk. I hear all this. He looks like Scarface in the third act <laughs> when he's sitting behind the yeah, yeah. desk and he's just <laughs> face. He's mangled. I said, Joe, you all right, man? Every, you know, you all right? He gets out of the car, lights up his Marlboro Red, which he chain smokes. He's like, you know, fuck her, man. Let me tell you something. He goes, say, I'm going to bury my wife. I'm going to, you want the house? Take the house. You're going to foreclose. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take my son. I'm going to bring him to Italy. She never see him no more. Uh, I, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. So he's going on and on and on about these horrible things he's going to do to the wife. Yeah, that's always nice to hear. Witness. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, you really, you should think about the kids. He goes, I don't give a shit. She could have the kids. I don't give a shit. I take my son. I go to Italy. I make a $5 million a year. I got 39 guys working for me. I got 12. So I got this. But at the end of the conversation, he goes, uh, listen, Jimmy, uh, uh, um, don't take it personally, but she gonna get a letter, and the letter say, uh, uh, you know, the kids, uh, they they not come over the house. 
I said, what, what are you talking about? He goes, I don't want her to be able to bring uh, children nowhere. I want her a slave. So I, I really don't know what he's talking about. So now, oh my God. again, you don't know what he's no, talking about. I, I, I'm really not sure what he's talking about. And people are wondering if uh, this pizza guy <laughs> delivers pizza with cheese in the ring of the crust. <laughs> jackpot! Jackpot! <laughs> yeah. Hence jackpot, right? Jackpot! Maybe not... that's what triggered it all. <laughs> You're trying to take him uh, out yeah. of business. <laughs> See what the fuck? He saw the commercial once. Motherfucker! Who this guy Jimmy do the pizza hut? He's got. I had the idea of the cheese into the crust. I don't think there's a pizza hut in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're getting we're getting to a really good part. Oh yeah, well, no, 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 it's so good because he doesn't want his wife bringing is. the kids over to your house. He doesn't want. Be, so now I hear the the kids are kicked out of camp because someone you know she can't have babysitters and all this is nightmare. Now I'm starting to hear all these guys in town call me on the road They're like Brewer. What's going on with you and the pizza guy? I said, what? You and the pizza guy? I said, what? What's going on? There's, oh, uh, we walk in the restaurant. He tells everyone you're, you're a drug addict and that um, he's got a restraining order against you to keep away from the kids. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, wait, are you kidding me? Are you? F Please tell me you're kidding me. He's like, no. It was, he goes, bro, I, I wouldn't care, but there were like a lot of customers. There, there was customers in there and he didn't know. <sighs> and he took it. This is how stupid he is. I did an article to start my new tour and the tour was like yeah you know i used to smoke pot but now i'm a family guy and i don't even curse on stage bring your wife and it's gonna be great <laughs> so he takes that he go oh G jimmy do drugs okay now i, now I get to bury him so, <laughs> oh, so he takes the article and he shows people and everyone that tells you goes you know this one guy calls me this is like the fourth guy he calls he goes he looks retarded because I read the article three times. I go, what's the problem? He goes, look, he he used he do marijuana. He goes, yeah, but he says he used to years ago. What what's the, what are you talking about? He goes, he dead to me. He dead to me. So this is what I'm hearing. And, I'm and not, you were his pal, your his brother, pal. like a brother. Yeah, told. you guys got along. I, I'm starting to get annoyed, <laughs> but <laughs> I, 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 now, like a dope, he has no clue. My niece is in town. He opened up a limo business, which is like a Harlem liver, you know, they, like the cars you see in Harlem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go to my town, it's like this nice town. This is white trash <laughs> limo. With you see the prom in guy from 78? <laughs> right. <laughs> right, guy from Nicaragua dragging. You want to go to 15, 70, thing, and I bring you there for $180. Yeah. The bumper's not on right. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. slightly askew. I'm not even lying. There's dents in the car. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's we all know the, the limo yeah. you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> wow. So he starts, she she calls, she texts me and she's like, Jim, this fun guy's talking about NT, my wife. Like, what are you talking about? This limo guy, he he brought up that he's single because his neighbors are assholes and he, the guy's on drugs and the wife is uh, crazy and ruined. I said, what's the guy? Ju mm, I can't uh, say But I went, are you, are you fucking kidding me? So. This is building up inside me. Now, the wife, they're going through the divorce. The wife gets a letter from the lawyer going up. The kids are no longer, here's the letter. Jim Brewer is no longer allowed near my kids because he's a known drug user. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Dude. Sorry. I'm, no, I'm in a movie theater like watching Up or something right. with the kids. You junkie. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he probably thinks the movie Up is about drugs. <laughs> so we finish the movie. Yep. Now we took two cars. My wife's turning. She's like, "Don't do something stupid. Don't sit, don't drive right home." I can see that look in your face. I've never, I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, seen this look in your face since you were eighteen. You're like, "No, I'm fine. I'm fine." I go ninety miles an hour to his pizza joint. <laughs> I go to the pizza place. I'm like, "Where's?" Where's Pizza Man? Uh, he, he not here. Well, you tell him that I'm looking for him because I'm tired of his family bathing in my house because he doesn't pay bills and he shuts off the gas and there's no electricity, so they have to shower in my house. You tell him that, Mr. Drug Guy. All right? <laughs> you have him call me. He never calls. Never calls. Well, you're dead to him. Two weeks later, I'm in my yard having a great day. Wiffle ball or something? Yes. Yeah. Rocking the wiffle ball. I had my ball. family, I had my oh, parents, in-laws. Beautiful sky. All of a sudden, his kids come walking in my yard. 
with the wife. She's like, oh, he's uh, he's scaring me. He's this. I'm like, oh, I don't you need, need this, this man. shit. I don't need this shit. So my wife's like, you gotta stay here. I pull my wife's out. I really don't want them here. I don't want them here. I'm spent the. Oh, yeah, she's fucking having problems. Whatever. <laughs> Hour later, his kid's playing wiffle ball. He, he doesn't even, he's never bought it. He, he never hangs out with the kids. Ever. Ever. So all of a sudden, the kids go, somebody's staring at us from the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus, no. I you turn in. around, it's Pizza Man. He's in the, he's in the neighbor's yard spying. <laughs> So now this is like Pizza Man. This is like a crazy, bad movie, man. man. This is like yeah, a, a yeah. horrendous horror movie. So Pizza Man is in the next yard spying on my family and his kids. So the wife is like, "Why don't you come over here, like a man? You want to see your kids? You fucking need to make the net." Oh. So he starts walking to his house, and I'm like, Phew, "Now we're gonna have our conversation." So I don't think. Now, everyone that works for him are like immigrants that he literally enslaves. <laughs> if you talk to him, they're like, oh, I got to work for him because uh, he's going to turn me in. <laughs> <laughs> We're all junkies. And Holy so shit. I go to him, and I swear to God, on a very, very human level, yeah. I swear my kids' lives, I go, uh, <clears throat> I go, pizza man. <laughs> you want to talk to your kids? Why don't you go talk to your kids? He won't look me in the face. Well, he smokes a cigarette. He looks down at the ground. He's, and he's circling around like a hyena waiting for the lions to finish eating the fucking gazelle. Hey, Mocha so, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Pizza man. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, okay. Very close to uh It's funny you said that. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, uh, I go, listen. Uh, you want to talk to your kids? Go talk to your kids. What What are you staring in the woods for? He's he's smoking a cigarette. I go, uh, listen to me. I don't care what you've been saying around town because a lot of people coming up to me. I don't think you realize how many people know me. He, go, oh no, I said I'm. You know, I came in the pizza place looking for you. You really pissed me off about that drug. He go. This is what he says. You got that all right? You got that right? You had the, every right to be angry. I said, well, I don't care what you say about me. Don't talk about my wife. He go. What are you talking about? Now, he's not supposed to have a limo business because his papers aren't done. He's not supposed to collect money. Oh, shit. So I said, my niece was in the car when you drove her. He went ballistic. I never drive in the fucking car. Who <laughs> he gets his finger in my face. And now I'm thinking, all right, touch me. Go on. time. Now, I got my kids watching. Yeah. My parents, my in-law. Everyone's, oh, everyone's like, oh, my God. Jesus Christ, Jimmy, get in the house. It's like, everyone be quiet. I ain't afraid of this little fag. Which is what he is. He's a little fag. So, <laughs> so he doesn't dare touch me. He's, he's, he's going, to who are your niece? I said, I'm not going to tell you who my niece is. Yeah. The fact is, you were in the car and you were talking about me and my wife. Don't do that. You, you son of a bitch. I know, fuck. I am, blah, 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 blah. And I said, don't tell your kids I'm drugs either because I'm tired of them coming over here going, and, uh, hey, Missy Jamie, my daddy say you want drugs. Uh, so he he gets he gets intimidated by me because I looked him in the eye and yeah. I kept walking up to him every time he walk away. So he turns around and he goes, <sighs> "You disrespect me." Oh, shit. oh no! I said, "How do I disrespect you?" He goes, "I told you, my kids come in your house. You send them home." I said, first of all, stop yelling." And second of all, don't tell me what to do with my family. Your kids come over to my house. They, I'm not going to tell my kids what to do, and I'm not going to send your kids home. I go, you got problems with your wife, you deal with your wife. Don't, don't involve me in your bullshit. He goes, I told you. You know what? You're going to get it. You're going to get it on a Tuesday. What? And he starts walking away. <laughs> what? He starts walking away like, Tuesday, you're going to get it on a Tuesday. Now, Tuesday, I'm going to L.A. <laughs> And so I'm like, oh my god, I gotta leave this nutball <laughs> yeah. with my wife and kids. What does that mean? I'm gonna get it Tuesday. On Tuesday. So now I call the cops. I didn't call the cops. Someone in the family called the cops right. while this is going on. Cops come. I get all I'm gonna say is that's when I got scared and they were like, that guy? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. All right. They, just they kind of know about it. Stay them. clear. 
They're like, dude, yeah. So I do my own investigating as for, he's up for, apparently he's up for assault. With a de this, is, this is what a bag of rocks this jackass Holy is. Holy shit. He Why are you on our show telling this? This, is great. this 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 bag of rocks. Yeah, there's a town pool. Do, do the noise again for the bag of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, piece of man, I take your bag of rocks. And remember, if anybody confront you, you come to mama. Mama give you a huggy, and mama making you sauce. <laughs> I, I can come here with nothing but the change in my pocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna leave with nothing too. <laughs> they're calling it. They're calling this Brewers Lakeview Terrace. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay, so, so, bag of rocks. The cops show up. Cops go up. Say, oh, I'm boy. not even gonna say what I learned there, but they said, "Listen, we're gonna make a police report." Did you learn some bad stuff, though? I learned bad Safe stuff. To say? I learned bad. I stuff. learned bad stuff. Multiple bad stuff. Multiple bad stuff. Oh, shit. Were you scared or angry? Both. Okay. More, more angry, because especially what happened right after this. This is when I got angry. This is when my blood level right. went through the roof, and and so. Oof. Now, just to give you an idea, this jackass in town, he's up for assault with a deadly weapon, but it's, it sounds worse than it is. Right. Basically, what he did was, this is, how, this is what a bag of rocks he is. It, it, some guy came to the town pool, which he bullied himself into. He literally <laughs> sending fish and letters to the guy that had the place. <laughs> so, the guy, the guy gets, the, the, can I, can I, can I, I gotta, I gotta help. Not, go this doesn't need help, but I've been to Brewer's house in his neighborhood. This is like the most peaceful. Beyond peaceful. It's like <laughs> the, the epitome of suburbia. <laughs> this is what yes, I got worried yes, about, too. Yes. I'm and not you gonna, got this guy just like, just. We live, everybody and we live in a place, he had about 50 trees in front of his house. I used to walk out and stare at woods and trees and oh, he chopped no. down every... Nah. That's what I for three straight weeks. <laughs> 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 He wants to cement the place so bad. Dude, he's so stupid. This guy comes to me, living there one month. He go, Jim, guess, guess what? First of all, you need to know. You know what they call me? The Italian Jew. I said, really? He goes, that's right, because I got a tie-in, and I know how to chew people down. <laughs> oh, this is, now, he drives like 90 miles up my driveway. Like, ah! Gets out of the car. <laughs> can't wait to tell me this. I go, what's up, Pete's man? He goes, I just bought it two horses, two thoroughbred. I name them Zambuca and Espresso. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to my kids' lives. <laughs> he goes, how much? How much do you think I? How much you think I buy the horse for? I I said, it's like first of all, who gives a shit? Second yeah, of all, peace man. I I don't know how much. I I don't know. He go go, go ahead, guess one. He thoroughbred. The other one, he he prize winner. <laughs> uh, Sixteen thousand. He go five thousand for the both of them. I said, all right, two weeks later, he's burying them in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I've got horse flies the size of my pinky <laughs> fucking up my summers for like the last three years. He's got sheep. He comes in my house. Probably he just needed the heads. <laughs> Probably. He comes over my house. He's like, you know, how about I chop down your trees? Oh, great. I want to put my livestock here. I said, dude, you're not... Go to Pennsylvania. You're not coming to my house to create a farm. Are you retarded? Are you re... <laughs> Make sure you take your bag of rocks, eh? <laughs> take your bag of rocks, a pizza man. Eh? Holy and shit. when people question you, you show them the bag of rocks and say, that's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. So, All right, so the pool. Uh, the pool, he spooks the guy. At, so this guy at yeah, the look. pool... Holy now, pub this is all public record, so I, I don't okay. mind talking about it. You can go and check out any police report on him. Mm -hmm. Police report is, this is how the bag of rocks, the guy's like, you know, I'm eating a sandwich. Leave me alone. He's going, you take a business away from me. You can no eat here. He goes, you know, you can fuck yourself. He goes, I'm going to kick your ass. The guy calls a cop because he threatens, I'm going to kill you. And Cops come. What day did he pencil his death in? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got about 50 uh, guys. Yeah. Tuesday, I'm a busy with the, with the brewer. <laughs> <laughs> I know to Tuesday, yeah. but I come on you on uh, Thursday night. Right after third delivery. <laughs> this guy, 
So the cops come. This jackass, while the cops are there, already settled the situation. He goes, no, this is in no way I do things. I show you how I do things. Goes to his car, oh, wow. opens his trunk, and takes out a freaking uh, police billy club. So they're like, oh, illegal. Hands on the roof, boom, yeah. uh, in the car. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. He goes, this is the way I do it. So now that's assault. With a, or it, you went to assault. He's also up for gun charges, too, because uh, that's another whole thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> cut to later that night, after, a, after, after the cops go, after, <laughs> is that the, is that the <laughs> day? Yes. yes. Okay. So okay. now i got to leave the next day to L.A., and I'm a little worried, and they said, we're going to be in your driveway. Don't worry about it. He comes, he comes down here. He drives a mile over the limit. We get, don't worry about it. Now, every day, he, his goons drive up and down my neighborhood. Every freaking day. They steal her mail. It's jackasses. Holy yeah, we just, oh, I've had federal agents call my house. This gets good. <laughs> oh, my wow. God. So now, so now, 11.30 at night. 11.30 at night. My door knocks. Bum, 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 bum. Like, what the fuck? Open the door. It's the cops. The guy's got this face like, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I said, what's the matter? His wife was so scared. Because of his menacing, he he. We watch him in the middle of the night. He'd go knock on the window and just stand outside the window, like a like Cape Fear, lunatic. And just lunatic, just a control. He's sick control right, right. freak. Never touched her, but he's sick control. He wants to control you. Mind control. Mind control. <laughs> Jimmy, you know all about that. <laughs> Secret societies. <laughs> Next on my program, it's Jim's neighbor, the pizza man. Now, pizza man, this is a conspiracy. <laughs> well, co this is what the cops say. Oh, uh, shit. You, this, you can't make this shit up. The cop goes, Jim, I, I, we apologize. Um... Lieutenant said, I have to come here because he legally called. I have to make sure his children are not being kidnapped. <laughs> Holy mother of fuck. But that's the moment I knew he was a bitch. What a, what a little bitch. Yeah. To call the cops to just... Now you're a bitch. You just you just put your dress on and you pierced. You're, you're a bitch. You're now officially. I'm gonna send you some makeup. Yeah, yeah. So now he's like, I'm gonna call the cops on you now. So he sends the cops to my house to harass me and my family. And so I go, You're kidding me, right? And he goes, <laughs> He laughs. He's like, No, I'm not kidding. I go, You know, he's. I said, Why don't you talk to his wife? His wife is right here. She's scared to go home. And he's like, I don't need to come in. He's like, I just want to let you know he called and legally I had to come here. And just, Next time we'll call on the phone. I said, all right, now it's okay. This this better end right here. <laughs> this better end right here. So what happens? She's now going away. The wife is going away. Now, granted, he doesn't pay one bill. Now he's driving around a white Mercedes all over town. He's He's got like 10 cars. He won't pay a bill for his kids or right, his wife. Right, right. He wants to put them in the gutter. Now, all of a sudden, the wife gives us, like, I'm going away. He steals my freaking bills, which he does. I see him go there and pick up his mail every day. He's got a court order now that says he's not allowed to pick up the mail. He's not allowed to go to the house without a police escort. He breaks it every day. <laughs> goes there, takes the mail, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> goes there. So he asked my, she asked my wife to pick up the mail. Four days later... Freaking! Hi, this is uh, you know Charlie from the federal. Oh no! <laughs> Mail tampering. Yes. Oh shit! And uh, we have a um, police report saying uh, Pizza Man uh, is is saying that you know your wife's a suspect of stealing mail. Went. All right. <laughs> oh <laughs> Christ! God. So the cops go, again. You're a bitch. You know she's taking. You know. That's some bitch shit. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some bitch shit. You're not even a man anymore. You're a bitch. You're a you're a baby. But you got a you, vagina. You disrespect him. Oh, wow. yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're in, just goes. Huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're he's in a, hell, bro. He's in. Fi you you're are in fucking hell. on fire, pissed. Uh, beyond yeah, on I, fire, I pissed. Tell. I wanna. I know exactly where he walks at night. I know exactly who he's banging in town. Everyone knows who he's banging in town. Oh. 
Everyone knows everything about this jet. The, this is what made me feel better, though. I swear my kids' lives, every human being I bump into goes, let me tell you something about that pizza guy. <laughs> Everyone's got a story. So when someone does eventually do something to him, he's not going to know who. There's going to be so like, many people. He's pissed just... off Mexicans. He's pissed off the, the community. He's <laughs> yeah. pissed off uh, the, ta the every imaginal person in town he's had a run-in with yeah. it's and that made me go all right it's not just me yeah, it's not it's, just you. i feel better i feel better you know a mistake you made but not, well obviously wrong place wrong time because you're pretty close proximity yes but uh also getting involved yep. in any way <clears throat> shape or form helping with even helping yes you're you're too nice of a guy correct is what you did correct and and, uh, you and know, now look, look how that pays you look off. at how that pays me off. with yeah. a federal f with a fed coming to you fed door. Come to the door and to oh, quote scarface God. look at you now you stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right so <laughs> now and now we got another well the cops called and they're like listen we already called the federal agent we told i said well fuck that I want him charged for false police report. He he's not allowed to pick up mail, so he can't make he can't make clip. This is what, listen. This, <laughs> the cops are like, listen, man. Ah, this hit, guy's hit. out of his mind, and to prove that he doesn't know is a whole new you know <laughs> bag of rocks. <laughs> We're dealing with a bag of rocks. So, all right. So now, uh, about two weeks about two weeks ago. <clears throat> I'm sitting in my house. This still continues? Holy... Oh, dude. Two What's weeks... the duration of this whole thing from beginning to now been so End of far? August. From the end of August. From the end of August. Okay. That, actually, it was like the first week of September. So last got, week okay. of August. We got three more months to go here. When it got really bad. All right. When it got... He moved in a couple years ago. Yeah. August. Everything was great with this guy. Until he started telling me what I need to do. Right. right. Don't tell me what I need to do because you're banging everyone in town and your and your relationships in the dumper. It's not my problem. Yeah. I'll help you. I'll even take care of your kids like like better than you take care of them. <laughs> Apparently. See, his kid came over yesterday like my daddy bought me a private jet to go to Orlando. Like you're <laughs> kidding me, right? I said, oh, that's exciting. Like, yeah, he's bringing my mama, and uh, he say, you know, he's gonna steal me. Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice talk. Great. Your father's great. He taught me how to shoot gun. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a good dad. It's a good pizza man's a good class citizen. <laughs> good class act, that guy, that pizza guy. So, so you smooth things over with the federal agents. Yeah, federal agents, no problem. Okay. Car drives by my neighborhood, pulls in my neighbor's yard, pulls all the way in the backyard. I I know it's not pizza man's. I know it's not any of his guys that work for him. I call up the wife. I say, are you expecting someone today? Someone just pulled a neighbor. <gasps> Who pulled my neighbor? Call the police. I said, it looks like a it doesn't look like a menacing car. Why don't I go check? I'm on the phone with the wife. I go, stay on the phone with me. I walk back, no one's in the car. And she has a barn in her backyard, a little barn like a garage. And it's just the door's shut, no one's back there. This, so I'm like, this little so odd. I'm like, what? I go, uh, let me give you the license plate, and then I'm going to call the police because I don't know where these people are. While I'm talking to her, the barn door opens. <laughs> Two of his guys are there. One's about six foot four. The other one's about two foot five. And, and the big guy goes, hey, uh, I, how you doing? I said, good, everything cool? He goes, yeah, I'm just feeding the animals. And he was. He, he, had animal, he was feeding animals. At least what I saw because he was, he was hiding behind the door. So I said, all right. Oh, no. So I tell the wife, I go, he's feeding animals. They're feeding animals. It's, it's very legit. She's like, my animal, those animals must be gone. He's back in court. He's feeding animals. I walk away. I go to my house. I watch them drive away. As a driver, I wave. I got no problem with them. Ten minutes later. Oh, no. Jim, uh, can you tell me what happened about, uh, you know, it's a sergeant. Can you tell me what happened about ten minutes ago? <laughs> oh, my God. What, what do you mean? What happened? I don't know. What happened? Holy he goes, well, I, I need your side of the story. <laughs> what story? What are you talking about? Uh, what happened across the street? Oh, I'm thinking the wife called the police. Uh huh. I said, well, this car came in and you pulled the backyard. I went there. No one's there. And I was on the phone with her the whole time. And they said they were feeding animals. And uh, that was it. That's what I. All right. That's all we need to hear. I hear him in the background going, I want to hear fucking charge for trespassing. 
He 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 threatened my workers. He threatened my workers. He's a bitch. Threatened. <laughs> wow. He's up at the pe he's he wants up at you the police up so bad. He wants me locked up. Yeah. What a what a whack So he's at the police department and there's a police report. It says and it's really funny, in the police report it says, even though we explained to Pizza Man over and over again, there's no trespassing, there was no harassment, wow. no threats. He insisted that we arrest him and that me and the lawyer are gonna do something. So as you do, he sends me a, a letter. I wish I brought the letter today. I I forgot the letter on my counter. It looks like a third grader wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a third grader wrote this. I start showing everyone in town. I'm like, you want to see something funny? <laughs> uh, now, can, can I legally say the lawyer's name that sent it to me? I wouldn't say any names. Yeah, I, okay. would, I would stay. Uh, All I'm going to say is the lawyer is obviously a guy that he went to. He's like, can you, uh, can you, uh, I'll give you two slices of pizza. You write this letter and just say lawyer. Dear Jim Brewer, I am going to sue you. Yeah. Uh, your lawyer, your neighbor's lawyer, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> it's, I mumbled through that, that one. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah, and it's basically like, this is Rocco. Um, uh, um, you, my client, uh, Pizza Man, um, my client, Pizza Man, needs you to stop harassing his employees and... You need to stay away from his children. I understand there's a court order that says you're not allowed anywhere near his children, and you know that you are going to reap the consequences. Oof. So today, I you know, t I finally I'm like, you know what? Now I gotta now I gotta call the lawyer. And yeah, now you gotta fucking. So now I call the guy, and so we just launched our missile, and it came today. Now I can legally read my letter, right? Yeah, I just wouldn't yeah, say sure, his name. Hey, just don't say anything his name. No, no, I'm not going to say I'm not going to yeah. say his so Actually, now, Pizza Man. It says so, it on the... Uh, <laughs> when no, I, Bag of Rocks. When we <laughs> sent... <laughs> pizza Man. When... Dude, I'm telling you, I showed this around town. Everyone, I showed it to a lawyer, and the guy laughed, and he went, this ain't a lawyer. This is a jackass. Yeah. And so, when we found out, my lawyer goes, you know, he's listed under a real estate guy. He ah. goes, he's technically, he's technically a lawyer. He is a lawyer, but he, he's like a meatball, this guy. So, mm. you would you would enjoy this because these guys handle him with like, I'm, <laughs> Oh, I certainly would. Uh, yeah, so, like, just this guy's a beast. <laughs> yeah. He's a beast. He's got a beast. A real guy. A, a real lawyer. Yeah, he's a, a beast real, of a lawyer. Even, even, I wish I had the wording. The Going wording. against the guy that's a part time lawyer. My I lawyer, wish I, he is such a good lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a tomato sauce. <laughs> when you have barn animals, honey baby, it's hard to convince me that you're feeding them. <laughs> I love that term for a good lawyer, too, a beast. Yeah. He's <laughs> a beast. So here's where we're at in the battle royale. And you know what? At the end of the day, I wanted nothing to do with this. Right. And this jackass just keeps pulling me in. You got forced into this whole situation. I got situation. forced into this nonsense. Yes. yes. So, here, I'll read the letter. Ready? <laughs> here we go. Dear Mr. Jerkoff, <laughs> we represent Jim Brewer and are responding to your letter of the, whatever the date. We're unclear of your intentions in sending the letter and do not fully comprehend the ambiguous threats contained therein. In order to insist us, in advising our client, please provide us with copies of any court orders served upon Mr. Brewer, which in any way purport, I don't even know what that word is, <laughs> purport, purport. I think maybe further the cause yeah. of or further the thought of, that's just a, a guess. Thank you, Jim. I could be totally wrong. No, it's I like think you're show. right. Purport. Wait, show, thank but you. They, if they show. Yes. That's, Correct. Yeah. That purport to restrict his activities. While your client appears to be going through a difficult divorce, I'm unaware of my of any orders, ordinances, or restrictions upon Mr. Brewer's constitutional right to associate with anyone, including his neighbor, your wife, which I won't say the name, <laughs> yeah. which I know right now his blood is boiling. Pizza woman. While Mr. Brewer would rather not be drawn into the marital hostilities, your client's apparent paranoia and actions, including verbal and physical threats, trespassing, spying, <laughs> and assaulting behavior, have required frequent police intervention. 
and cause great concern with the Brewer family. Unless the court orders cure my ignorance of any applicable fees, we see no choice but to retain local counsel in order to obtain injunctive relief against Mr. Pizza Man continuing harassment and threats towards Mr. What, Brewer. What does injunctive relief mean? Damn. It's not good. It's, it's basically, it says, good, no. this, is, this is the streetwise. Yeah. One more fucking letter. <laughs> With this stu if you fucking threaten my guy one more time, in the fucking oven you go. Okay. <laughs> in the oven yeah, you go. In the oven. You hear me? One more phone call, one more in the oven you go. So that was to his lawyer. That's his lawyer Good. and to him. Good. Because the lawyer will understand, even if he's not a legit lawyer or he'll a understand. Lawyer, he'll, he'll understand lawyer. the awful implications of oh, that. Oh yeah. It's gonna try to sell And my you a lawyer mortgage. my lawyer actually tried to he's like, Jim. Do you really want to pursue this? Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because it doesn't now, end now here. Now you're pissed. Yeah. It doesn't end. It's not going to end here. No. I, you know, it's going to be one day where I'm playing in the yard and his kid touches my, you know, my grass and I got to worry about this fucking wacko. Right. Yeah, exactly. Doing something stupid. No. I want him, uh, everything mm. I could do. Full blown assault. Done. You, ha you have to uh, set up a yeah, barrier You've of had protection enough. around I've had yourself. Enough. But however, if you love to have his pizza, Search him in town. I'm sure you would love it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Good pizza, huh? It's not New York pizza. It's not Giuseppe's pizza. Uh -huh. It's not Roma's pizza. Uh -huh. It's not, um, let's see, Roma, New York pizza, uh -huh. Napoli. It's not Napoli. Uh, not Giuseppe's. Mm -hmm. But if there's another pizza place somewhere around, Hmm. Which was, I believe, voted like number. This is wow. Yeah, voted number one in the county <laughs> by his best friend that he paid off. <laughs> so yeah, wow. that's the world I've been in. That's, that's a that? great story. And while I'm doing that, I bring my dad to get some relief. Yeah, who's 86? I bring him to the like. Let me get my dad out. A little okay. family time. I'm sitting there in 15 minutes. These guys come over to talk to my dad, and I say, I say, I got a World War II hat on, and blah, blah, we want to take you out, and da, 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 and, you know, where I've been, I've been here, blah, blah, and they're like, yeah, we want to take Atlantic City, get something good to eat, what do you like eating? Cunt. Oh, <laughs> he said that. Bro. Yeah, the lady behind, that is it. <laughs> Wait, you got the name? That is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it. Somebody, somebody had it. Somebody yeah, just a few people it, had right? it. Somebody popped it right up on the board there. Went, so feel yep. free to go there and have great conversation with him to know that. And ask him, like, hey, how's it going with the bills and your new private jet that you're burying your children with? Isn't, that nice? Isn't he a nice class act citizen, this guy? Uh, that's Jesus. great. That is a great story, Dr. man. Dr. Steve, by the way, has this guy knows everything. Injunctive relief. Gaining satisfaction through legal means, i.e. by injunction, which is kind of what we assume. Thank you, Steve. So anyway, all that leads to I'm playing Albany. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got to pay those lawyers now. <laughs> hey, uh, you know a guy named Sam? I know a bunch of guys named Sam. Sam. He says he hangs, uh, he's one of your neighbors because he wants to talk about Pizza Man. I I'll, I'll let him talk about Pizza Man. Let me hear about Pizza Man. But I, he's and you have a Pizza Man update? Yes, yeah, sort of. Oh, yeah, Sam, you. what do you got, buddy? Hey, bro, I just wanted to let the listeners know, you know, the last time when you talked about Pizza Man, yes. you know, I thought my family was the only family that actually had problems with him. I just found out, like, the entire town had uh, problems with him, and your story is pretty much dead on for what you were explaining for an hour about, about him. And, uh, you know, just a warning. I mean, even though you have no trespassing signs for no hunting on your property, yes. that doesn't stop Pizza Man. And his buddies. Let me tell, tell you. Do tell us a story. Did you? Was he hunting on your grounds? <laughs> Let's, one, there was one day I was sick and I didn't go to work. And uh, you know, suddenly I hear this knock, 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 knock on the door. I'm like, who is this guy? And it was him and his buddy. And you know, wow. I told them they, they weren't allowed to hunt because you know the neighbors. You know, obviously, we, we all banded together with it, you know, with the kids being around. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Children, neighborhood, three-acre lots. You can't. No yeah. shooting animals. Lots of deer uh, come running through, though. Nonstop, I, I've yes. I've been there with the herd of deer. It's going to go further than three acres. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Go to Pennsylvania. It's a half hour away. Right, yeah. Go to hunting parts. It's all over Jersey. But it yeah, is tempting yeah. when you see a whole herd of them. No, it's really not. <laughs>
<laughs> it's really not when it's then you're then you and I was and I told the pussy man uh, pizza man pussy pizza man. pizza man is a pussy man because anyone that wants to hunt a deer that's ten feet away you're a pussy that takes away hunting it's like hit him with a hammer it's like tackling a five year old what's what's <laughs> the thrill the I can get the kid you're a fag <laughs> you're a fag a real hunting is you got to go in the tree and wait for the sun wait you don't all kill day. it in the backyard yeah. fag. Go hunt squirrels. All right, I'm venting. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, they were after this 12-point buck that was running around in the neighborhood, and, and the guy really, really, his friend, it was actually his friend that really wanted this buck. Yeah. And, they, you know, and I could have sworn they had some uh, firearms in the car. I'm like, they did. what are these guys trying to do? You know, they're they trying did. to go after this one deer yeah. you know, that's been rolling around. For $50. <laughs> For $50. That's a pizza man. Oh, I guess she took five dollars for the for the horns. I said, you know what? You're partially retarded. <laughs> he really is. So anyway, long story short, you, you, the whole you're right. The whole town had a problem with pizza man. Pizza man is that bad neighbor. Sam, we'll that, try to get something together this week. All right, Sam. Now, yep. last time you were on the show, you talked about okay. pizza man for an hour. It's, we can't get into that again, right. obviously. But you do go you have to YouTube. It up there? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah, the story is up on YouTube. I don't know man. how many people. Have, I have not seen it. But I, I can tell you my entire town has seen when I came up here and talked about Pizza Man. And this is where it started. It started with me going to a little convenience store, um, a little place called Krausers. Oh, went, fuck yeah. Jersey. Very Jersey. Yes. Very Jersey. <laughs> yes, Siri. I go into Krause's and there's a, uh, there's a guy there, uh, Nelson. Nelson, who, who <laughs> used to do something with the pizza man. I'm not quite sure what he would do. I think pizza man, pizza man does everything cash and sneaking behind the doors. <laughs> pizza man. So pizza man, I walk in there, a cop, I hear from behind. So, uh, what's going on with pizza man? Now, I, I turn around. I'm like, how do you know about Pizza Man? He goes, oh, we've all watched that 4,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He goes, uh, we need to know. Who, who's the lawyer? Who's Pizza Man's lawyer? I went, I, I tell them the lawyer. And they're like, let me tell you something. That guy's had his bar's license taken. He's an old man. Uh, I feel bad for him because Pizza Man manipulated him, blah, blah, blah. And... And so they tell me a story that Pizza Man is, and I think I told it, was, was going to be tried for a dumb incident he made. He bullied his way into the town pool. Right. You told that. I told all that. So I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> Two days later, I'm in the grocery store. Not one, but about four people come up to me. I'm down, I'm down like the aisle, and this lady comes up. She goes, can I just tell you? That, about Pizza Man? I went, what, you know about Pizza Man? She goes, can I tell you? You know what my teenage daughters did last week? The whole weekend, she had a slumber party, and I hear them laughing and laughing. And I thought they were watching, like, really bad R movies. I went downstairs. They were watching you telling the Pizza Man story on Opie and Anthony, <laughs> and they did it until 4 in the morning. <laughs> she goes, everyone in, everyone in Mendham, Chester, everyone knows... About the story of Pizza Man. <laughs> you find the clip at Iraq for the people at home? We got a bunch of new listeners the last month it, or so. It's in so. four parts because it was so it's long. It's in four parts. It's over an hour, yeah. It's almost at 30,000 views from... Uh, well, I, I could for, tell you 25 of them are in my town. It's not bad for an audio clip on, on YouTube. And, and what, just uh, Jim Brewer, Pizza Man? Yeah. Pizza Man or Pizza Guy. It's labeled both. With Jim Brewer, though, right? Okay. And so he, he now... So what happened after, we left it off where lawyers, blah, 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 he sent some cheesy lawyer. I think we left off where he sent the letter, mm -hmm. and then I sent the letter. Mm -hmm. He sent another letter. And in the other letter, his dopey lawyer wrote, um, uh, he, he took a piece of paper... Like, when you get a divorce, you, you, I don't have to tell you, Anthony, you, you make arrangements to have them killed. <laughs> right, you go, you know what, I, I agree that um, you, you have to pick up the kid on Wednesdays, and you're not allowed to come here, and the kids are not allowed to be alone here. So in it, the mother and the husband, Pizza Man and the wife, agreed uh, not to have the kids alone which is me. Which, quite frankly, I never want that anyway. Yeah. Why would I want to be alone with someone else's kids?
period. So he takes that part of the article of the agreement between and he pastes it to so it looks like it was ordered by the court, a court order, and he sends it to me in this threatening manner, again, like, you will, the consequences, you, we're going to have to take action against you, and blah, blah, blah. Jesus. So now I, I send the letter to the lawyer, and the lawyer, my lawyer, again, animal, <laughs> animal. They own record companies. This is... This is not rocking. This is enjoyment for them. Yeah, yeah, fun. The guy laughs and he goes, "I, I can't. I never in my life have I seen a lawyer toy with papers. We're gonna have to take his bar's license away. <laughs> We're gonna go after him because he legally toyed with legal papers." How could they tell he did? Did he do it in a photocopy or was it? Yeah, like it, it, it will say <laughs> like the court order, and then they'll put and the only, and then it was a paste of just what they agreed to in typing. And then it made it look like uh, ordered by the court wow. of, yeah, that's how stupid he is. That's how stupid. Okay, you a bag of rocks. Yeah. A bag of rocks for you and a bag of rocks for your lawyer. <laughs> so <laughs> they send, uh, my lawyer sends him and says, um, I'll have you know that I'm very suspicious that you toyed with legal papers, and we're going to have to allow legally go after yeah, you uh... and your client and your bar's license, everything. <clears throat> they called the next morning. We are so sorry. <laughs> this is a big misunderstanding. Uh, I, I don't legally know what's going on with Pizza Man. <laughs> I don't represent Pizza Man. Uh, you will never hear from us again. We're sorry for any inconvenience. They, oh, oh, they fucked up. <laughs> we are so sorry. Never want to hear. It. So now, fuck Pizza Man and his ass. <laughs> we right. hate fucking Pizza Man. Yeah. So now, lawyer calls up. He's like, "Great news! I heard from uh, Pizza Man." He goes, "And I got to be honest with you, he is as dopey as you explain him. He goes, his acts, everything, everything the way you said is hilarious, and he really is a bag of rocks." So, I go, well, I want to go after him now. I want to go after him for harassing me. He goes, listen, listen. <laughs> it, if you drive by, it gives you the finger. He looks at you the wrong way. But, but you call, and now you can go after him. for you, Just leave it. He's done. You're never going to hear from him again. Well, I didn't hear from him again. However, a couple days later now, everyone in town is going, oh, my God. I watched that Opie and Anthony Pizza Man thing. We have Pizza Man parties. We, we, we drive by his Pizza Man place. We know exactly the, the, the Pizza Man. And stories. Stories are coming up. People going, did you know that I treated Pizza Man's horse? And the other horse died and he got killed because he was malnutrition and, and Pizza Man. And I had people that worked for him start emailing me going, you know, Pizza Man threw a bottle at my head. I'm only 16 years old. Pizza Man curses. He got in a fight at the park. He, got, he fought here. It's fucking Every, legendary. Everywhere I go. They have a Pizza Man story. Someone has a Pizza Man story and how much they hate Pizza Man. He screwed me here, he threatened my mother, he bullied my grandfather, he came in here, he started a fight. Pizza Man can, can lick it. Nobody likes Pizza Man. <laughs> Nobody. They hate Pizza Man. So with that, convenience store up in the corner, I am now getting gas. And as I'm getting gas, Pizza Man comes in. Ah, oh, shit. And Pizza Man... Me and him lock eyes, and I stare him down, and he now goes and parks the car get, to get coffee. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm done getting gas, but I can use some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> so How do you like your coffee? <laughs> I get out of the car. Yeah. I go right next to him. I don't even say a word. I'm just standing right next to him, and he's looking down the counter. That's what Pizza Man does. He never looks you in the eye. He's looking down the counter, and he goes, uh, hey, 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 Jim, how you doing? I don't, I don't even answer him. So he goes, I go to get my coffee. He goes, no, don't, don't use that one. That, that one no good. Uh, use that one. And I'm just staring at him. <laughs> and so he pours the coffee for me and puts the coffee in front. And he never says a word, and I never say a word to him. So now he won't get online. So I just pick up the 
Now, the whole time, I'm st- I mean, it's right back to Jefferson Avenue, Long Island, King of the Block. <laughs> You're going to feel my wrath now. So now I'm online, and I'm just staring at him. And he won't get in line. And he's, just, he's circling his coffee. I wait till I leave. I, I'm about to leave. As I'm leaving, then he gets in line. I go, you know what? I'm not done. I want to. <laughs> I got to get cash. I, I forgot I got no cash. So I go back in the cash line. He then, he's looking at me. I'm staring back at him. I walked out the door with him. I walked him all the way to the, his door. He got in the car. I looked at him. He never looked at me. I watched him drive away. And that was the last I've ever dealt with pizza <laughs> wow. man. Not now a I'm, fucking word, huh? Not, not a, a word. word. Now and he, I don't look at him. He don't look at me. Oh, he's still in the neighborhood. His house is. He's not. He's not. He's up the street, sort of. He's, he's, his establishment still works. His establishment. And from what I heard from rumors... I can't officially say, <laughs> but he hasn't, he hasn't taken care of um, financial needs to his family. Ah. Yeah. Well, deadbeat action going Correct. on. Correct. I didn't say it, Anthony. I believe yeah, you just did. Yeah, of course. And the courts are now after him. And the court, now he went to court supposedly and said, I'm losing money because of the Opie and Anthony, Jim Brewer, Pizza Man. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, sure you <laughs> are. I think you were losing money long before. This is how dopey he is. He had a, he put in the article that he was retiring his, <laughs> his pizza place. He's retiring so he can make his $3 million and walk. And then he didn't retire. And so, and long story short, I can't wait to Pizza Man is a long guy. <laughs> I never want to see him again. I kind of feel bad for him, but I don't. It's heading that way? He's going to have to leave the neighborhood for, for good. He doesn't go anywhere, and nobody likes him. It's sick. It's deranged. Nothing worse than when you start feeling sorry for someone you hate so much. And, I feel bad for and him. And just watch them fuck shit up so bad for themselves that you're like, ah, and I, I kind of feel bad, but I don't want to because I hate them. Yes, and, and to be yeah. honest with you, Ant, I, I, the minute that st- the be- blessing was coming on here and talking about it, because the minute I left... People came out of the w- fire department, police department, <laughs> people in fucking... ShopRite, people at the bagel <laughs> store, people at the other pizza places, people from soccer teams. He had a fight on a soccer field. People from the pool, the entire town. If you go to have dinner, the waiters, the freaking the church. You go to church and they're like, I believe in Jesus, but Jesus would hate this son of a bitch. Everybody had a story of how they cannot stomach this individual. And the minute I started hearing how even the place where I go get gas, they go, let me tell you, this bastard I mean, (laughs) I'm... My feelings are kind to him compared to what the entire town feels about this man. And they don't even know he's deadbeat. They don't even uh, know that he's deadbeat. And he was driving around a white Mercedes while he's not paying his children anything. So it's like he's... Wow. It, but anyway, like I said, it's off. My, I don't care anymore. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. He's got the whole town to deal with. I'm the least of his concerns. I want to go to your town and uh, get a pizza man sighting. Dude. Now I feel like I need to see Do You want to come this like week? A celebrity. Celebrity. You come this week? Yeah. yeah. He'd be a you come this week. Go see, and I'll tell you what, you know what kids start doing? I shouldn't say this, but I should say it off the air. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have that story, because uh, I was saying bag of rocks. Yeah. They, it, they, often, as a present, little bags of rocks were left. Oh, shit. These little sightings. It's taking on a life of its own, piece uh, of man. It's really sad, though. All, all a guy has to do is just be a regular guy. There you just go. be a nice regular guy. Stop That's being a dick. Stop being a dick. Hey, uh, <laughs> How hard is that? Just don't That's, be a dick. What amazing advice, though. Just stop, stop being a stop dick. Stop being a dick. <laughs> That's all it is. That's what it comes and down you know, to. And you know, again, I was, I was probably his only ally he had. Like, I would still... You guys started as sort of friends. Although he pushed his way into No, your, he pushed his way into my life. Yeah. The, the but people, even then, I understood him. He's off the ball. He's, he's a bag of rocks, all that jazz. Bag of rocks. I respected him, but... 
he came after me. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he came after me. All bets are off. You Especially when he went after my wife and like, are right. you are you a okay. sick individual? Now all bets are off. And now, a lot of people out there are a little confused. You got to check out the original clip. You got when, yeah. when Jim Brewer came in. It's in four parts on YouTube. You have to look at it. It's it's an amazing story. They had pizza and man parties in my town. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> my man pool party. man, the pool man came and he goes, you know, uh, <laughs> we have p we're going to Atlantic City and we're having a pizza man party. I swear to God. They go and have Pizza Man parties. They watch the YouTube piece, and they drink, and they hang out, and they laugh at, the, <laughs> at, at Pizza, Pizza Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Can you imagine a whole town just, just because hey. you're a dick?